how do we respond? I don't know how many people will die. That's not important to me. What is important to me is to see how does the Chinese government deal with this problem. We know that our Prophet said Allah's blessings be upon him 1400 years ago. He said, when a plague takes place, if you are located in that place where the plague is spreading, do not leave. And if you are outside, do not enter. It's called a quarantine. And he said this 1400 years ago, quarantine. And now the world has picked up that same system of quarantine. But they, if you are coming back to Trinidad from China, they will, if they allow you to enter, they'll put you in quarantine and check to see whether or not you have the virus before they allow you to enter into the population. Hmm? The second thing that is important for us is that to recognize that the Arabs are going to be wiped out by plague. Our Prophet has spoken and I've just given you the hadith from Sahih Bukhari uh, about Mutan, a plague which will kill you the way sheep are killed. This is one of the six that he mentioned, six things, the, sahih, the hadith which is at the time of the Hazrat of Tabu, Tabu. So the Arabs are the ones who have to be most, most concerned about coronavirus. And that is that they, every Arab government, Algeria, Mauritania, uh, Morocco, Tunisia, Libya, uh, uh, Egypt, uh, Iraq, Syria, Jordan, uh, Yemen, the whole of the Arab, Jazeera to Arab. You should all be sending monitors, people who can go to Beijing, uh, to monitor how the Chinese government is dealing with this problem. How can they contain it? See how the Chinese government is operating and uh, uh, learn from what they are doing, their mistakes and their correct things. Check to see how the World Health Organization is responding to it. Because tomorrow, after the trial runs over, tomorrow the plague is going to hit the Arab world. And they will want to ensure that you are not prepared for it. And that huge numbers of Arabs will die as prophesied by the Prophet Islam. And so for, for the whole world of Islam, yes, it is important. But coronavirus is far, far more important for the Arab world because this is Akhir Zaman and in Akhir Zaman there is a prophecy of a virus attack on the Arab world which will kill huge numbers of, um, of Arabs. What else can we do to protect ourselves from virus and from these dangers of Akhir Zaman? وَإِذَا كَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنِ And when you recite the Qur'an وَإِذَا كَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنِ Qur'an means a recitation So when you recite that recitation جَعَلْنَا بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ هِجَابًا مَسْتُورًا We will place a hijab which will separate you from that world which rejects belief in the hereafter which is the modern Western world and the secularized world of today. So one of the ways in which you can protect yourself from the coronavirus and from the other dangers of Akhir zaman is to recite the Quran from cover to cover, once a month, every day, one juice a day, and to recite it the way that Allah recited it. This is uh, our comment on the coronavirus.